come. In the blue, from Korea, Lee Dae-hoon. See him. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's bearing up well. Yeah, I like it. So Tarek Benradi, the centre referee in charge of proceedings in this one. And can we have a little look at it here in terms of the quality, in terms of the tail of the tape? 19 victories all the way through in the Grand Prix for Ide Hoon. A clutch of medals until this young man from Doncaster came along, defeated him at the Grand Slam in China. And has had his number since then, as you said, Stephen, in terms of head-to-heads, two victories all. And it's all to fight for in this minus 68 kilogram matchup. Bradley Sinden looking aggressive, trying with the back leg turn and kick to the face from Ide Hoon. Wow, that is exactly why he's so dangerous. Just when you think he's out of, posi out of position, he fires one of those headshots and takes the lead. That's, that's why he's dangerous. It's what we saw in Rome last time, we, last time these two fought. Let's see how Bradley answers. This is far from over. Well, the ever dangerous Dehun starts with the lead. Bradley Singh gets into the clinch, which is his favourite place to try and get some scores on the board. A couple of connections. The lights are on, but no points as yet. Yeah, this is uh, my heart's pounding. This is one of those. This is one of those you look forward to all tournament. Wow, just an excellent follow by Lee Dehun to take the lead 5-0. Maybe a little bit of jitters. We'll see uh, Bradley make the adjustment pretty quick here. 50 seconds left in this first round. A lot of fight to go. As you say, plenty of time left in this one, but Ide Hoon, a good start from the Korean master. And the young master himself, Bradley Sinden, eats a punch there. On the way through, three points going up on the board after that kick on, as well on the inside. Interesting. I. That, that happened quicker than I even realized, but that's this weight division. Both he and Bradley can fire that quick, and it's just, oh, he got a punch and a body? Man, that's, it spirals real quick. And as you see, potentially spiraling out of control. The gam jump, though, will give Bradley Sinden opportunities to hang on in in this first round, but it's been a great start from the Korean. Three-time world champion for Meridian, but here comes Bradley Sinden looking for the head kick. Adaptation from E. Dae Hoon. Yeah, exactly. He is so hard to hit for all the special skills that this guy has going into this last 10 seconds. Wow, Bradley hitting a clean headshot that did not go up. And Martin Stamper standing up to his feet, looking perhaps for a, a test of the protective system. I think, the, I think the ref video review on that one. Yeah, there was a definite whack to the head there. It's plenty of meat on that shot. Smacks the head down of Eper, just making sure. Instant video replay. No scores on the board as we go back at 8 to 1 in favour of E. Dae Hoon. And there it is again. That, that notorious Dae Hoon slide out of the way and just put that pinky toe on the helmet for the point. It makes it look so easy, but Bradley is still very much in this. It's anybody's game at this point. Right now. 
Well, speaks heavyweight champ Stephen Lambden, who's giving us the expert analysis in this one, but two experts sharing the centre. But the lion's share of the points so far going to Ide Hoon, the Korean in blue. Both men battling forward here. Good footwork from Sindon on the outskirts, trying to avoid the fast feet of the Korean. Good block as well, the headshot again, though. Another one. Man, it's his ability to take it away, make somebody barely miss, and then looking for it again. Oh, looking for it, landing it, and Bradley Sindon's intensity, the ability to stand up to that one there, the conditioning of the Doncaster fighter took that one flush in the face, but still hanging on in there. Ide Hoon, though, in impressive form, Stephen. Yeah, we're seeing peak Day Hoon. This is classic highlight reel stuff so far, but I'm not ruling Bradley out. He can score just as easily, just as fast. This is still a ball game. No question about it. And delivering the big power pitch on the way through, but the double on the outside from Sindon. Yep, there it is. It's one of those things. There's not many matches where somebody can be ahead by 13, and I'd say the other person's still in it. But if anybody can do it, it's Bradley. Big punch by the Korean to start building that lead back up. Well, you can hear the coaches and indeed the fans, Bradley sending anxiously checking the scoreboard to see if these shots are going on the board. It makes grim viewing at the moment because the Korean master, Lee Dae Hoon, fires in another back leg, gets close with that one. Oh, wonderful attempt right there. I like that idea by Bradley. He's been taking it to the backside the entire time. He tries that front leg hook. Solid contact again with that chest guard, just not quite going up, maybe not the right angle. Yeah, as you see, the angle of attack foreseen by Ide Hoon is covering and covering himself in great credit so far. But Great Britain's Bradley Sindon still in the conversation. Needs a headshot of his own to try and get back into it. Good body shot, but nice response from Ide Hoon. Yep, it's all that core strength. Notice whenever he gets pushed, he doesn't slide back. He just opens the distance, takes big punches like that. He's hard to move, but when he does move, he's hard to catch. Hard to catch, hard to hit, but not hard to watch. Was Ide Hoon punching with the left hand, punching with the right hand. Twisting kick from Bradley Sindon leaves a space. And Ide Hoon, well, he's in with a twist and in with a shout. Shot of fighting spirit or indeed Guile loves to create, loves to try and change things up. Good speed from Ide Hoon at the start of this one. Pivotal round, back leg turn and kick from Bradley Send a big punch from him as well. Yep, that's good. I think that could have gone either way. I'm fine with the no call on those punches. Yeah, Martin Stamper raising his hand there, and they were saying yes, the point for the punch will be given retrospectively. Is that nope, correct? Two, two of the judges gave the X on that one. Ah, so sorry. they asked, answered. Bradley not going down without a fight. I like the pressure. Well, speaking of pressure, Ide Hoon bringing it on here. 24 to 5. A minute and a half to go in this third round. Great distance management there. Almost no effort in that move, but completely shut down the exchange. Well, trying with the spin, trying with the headshot. Good power from Sindon, but excellent execution from E.D. Hoon, he'll take that cam jump, and it looks for all the will in the world as if he'll take yet another Grand Prix final title. Trying for it again. Yep, up to 30, the lead is now 30 to six against Bradley Sindon. Valiant effort by Bradley, but just not quite connecting on some things. It's letting the lead get a little bit out of hand at this point. Well, E.D. Hoon standing tall, dropping in the back kick and turning on the style here. We've given Bradley Sendon his due credit. 
He's giving forward, he's given it absolutely everything, but there's no doubt about it. Ide Hoon, if there was any doubt, back to his base. Bradley Sinden drops in a little twisting kick under the guard, tries a back kick of his own, but Ide Hoon, by a distance, the better man so far. Yeah, and his ability to manage distance, just like that one. Anybody else would have gotten tagged in the back of the head, but uh, he's Gumby whenever it comes to trying to kick him in the face. It's just when you think he's going to be there, he's not. Yeah, ever hard to find, but also easy to watch. Ide Hoon delivering some real quality here. Bradley Sinden, of course, grew up admiring Ide, Sin Ide Hoon as a fighter, managed to defeat him on a couple of occasions, but this will not be one of them. He needs a knockout shot. There's 10 seconds left, and it's all about the Korean master. Ide Hoon steps away from the quadruple attempt, throws the back kick while there's one knee on the ground. Irrespective of the scores, it's all about the quality. Ide Hoon. Grand Prix final champion, no question about it. Bradley Sinden fighting to the finish, and ED Hoon just puts a little cherry on top of the cake, and it's a super performance of Korean. performance by Dayton. Korean turning back to